So I've owned my Nintendo Switch for quite some time now, and after owning a PS4 for a couple months, I thought I would give my opinion on each and tell you which one is my favorite. I'll go over all sorts of different things about each, comparing and contrasting them. Before we start though, I want to thank all of you guys who subscribed, as I have now officially passed 100 subscribers. It's a really wonderful milestone for such a small channel like mine, and I wanted to let you guys know I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks again. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so to start it off, let's talk about the most important thing, the games. Alright, so I've been thinking about this for quite some time, and I honestly don't know if I can come to a conclusion. Both consoles have some absolutely amazing exclusives, like Breath of the Wild and Smash Bros on the Switch, and Horizon Zero Dawn and God of War on the PS4. Apart from exclusives, they both have tons of great indie games and games that aren't on the other consoles as well. The Switch has games like Cuphead, and the PS4 has Persona 5 and The Last of Us Remastered, both games that I adore. But I must say, even though in terms of games, the consoles are probably about equal, one thing really does decide it for me. The price. I can't deny that the PlayStation Store prices are vastly superior to the Nintendo eShop prices, and even first party exclusives. Breath of the Wild is still around $80, while Horizon Zero Dawn can be purchased for under $20. Only brand new PS4 games have the steep $80 price tag. Plus, there's way more sales on the PlayStation Store, and they're a lot better than the eShop ones. I bought Resident Evil for $6 on my PlayStation, and it was on sale for $20 on the eShop. I'm gonna have to give the games to the PS4. The next category is another rather important part of both of these consoles, the controllers. The PS4 has the DualShock controller, while the Nintendo Switch has the Joy-Cons. Okay, so to me, this is really a no-brainer. I gotta say, if there's one thing I absolutely hate about the Switch, it would have to be the controllers. The Joy-Cons are total garbage, in my opinion. The gimmick is a good idea, that it can be one controller or two separate controllers, but jeez, just feel and seem like they're so cheap. I'm one of the people who sells the original Joy-Cons, and I really do despise them. The lights on the left Joy-Con broke, my right joystick is all bumpy and messed up, and the drifting, oh my gosh, the drifting. The drifting on my Joy-Cons is so unbearable. I have found ways to temporarily fix it, but when that wears out, it's awful. And it wears out a lot faster now. I shouldn't say that I haven't had any drifting issues with the DualShock, but they've actually gone away now. Anyways, I have so many horrific memories of trying to do the Sans boss fight and literally any Cuphead boss and drifting just ruining my life. So if you couldn't tell, this category goes to the DualShock. It's a nice size, feels pretty light, and I like the big button in the middle. And the trigger buttons are a lot more satisfying than the clicking buttons on the Joy-Cons. Okay, so I try not to have any ties on this list, but I truly think that the UI for both consoles does come out at a tie. When you think about it, there's actually quite a bit of similarities between the two, which is why I find them hard to compare. Both open up with the recent games and apps you've played at the front, both of them have settings, news, all that stuff, either on the top or the bottom. I do like that you can customize how the PS4's UI looks, like as of now I have a sick Persona 5 theme, and I really wish the Switch had done this too. It has the option between dark and light, but that's just about all. Dark is obviously the best though. I would probably give this to the PS4 just because of the themes, but the Switch has an easier account system, and the eShop is just way better to navigate. With the graphics, it is a bit of a one-sided fight. The Switch doesn't compare to the PS4, and that's a fact. But at least Nintendo knows this, so they don't go and try to make giant graphical masterpieces. Yes, Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey look great, but they really don't compare to games like Horizon Zero Dawn. If there's ever a game on both consoles, I always find myself buying it on the, my PS4, mainly because of the graphics, but like I said, sometimes the price as well. Performance is a bit of a different story. Once again, I'm really not sure I notice a difference, excluding handheld mode with the Switch. I've never really noticed lots of lag in any game, 
I've played and both consoles have equally crashed on me sometimes. Storage is also linked as all this stuff, and it's a little sad when you really look into it. I got a PS4 Slim with a full terabyte of storage, and my Switch is just a disappointment compared to that. Even with an SD card, it isn't even close. Online features are another rather important part of both systems, and I really can't say much about this, as I don't own PS Plus. I haven't heard any complaints about it, but I don't want to sound biased or anything. Anyways, Switch Online is alright. Actual online multiplayer is usually good, but some games like Smash Bros getting a little bad at points, but for the most part, it's okay. Similar to PS Plus, Switch Online allows you to back up your data and gives you some free games. With PS Plus, it's usually just some random stuff, but Switch Online has older NES and SNES games. The NES games are alright, I had a great time with the SNES games. I'm still hoping for N64 games though. So by default, this should go to the Switch, but I just won't count it. So apart from all these big things, both consoles have a lot of smaller things to offer. I don't really mean like really really small stuff, like how you can hide games you've played on PS4, or how you can create Miis for yourself on Switch, because going into that stuff would take a very long time. But each console does have some big things that I think I should definitely touch on. Starting with pretty much the entire selling point of the Switch, handheld mode. Without this, I think the PS4 would be the clear winner, but handheld mode is so good. I'm one who probably plays more in handheld mode than on the TV, and while I can notice the difference between the two, having the Switch portable makes it completely worth it. I really don't know what else to say, handheld mode is the most amazing thing about the Switch. This really doesn't apply to me much. But it's neat that you can play Blu-ray discs on the PS4. Speaking of watching stuff, the PS4 does have things like Netflix that I still don't know why the Switch doesn't have. Since you can play with headphones connected to the DualShock, I love watching shows with headphones so I don't disturb anyone. While both consoles technically have VR, Labo really doesn't compare to PSVR. I don't actually own either. After trying both, I really did find PlayStation VR really fun. Now I just have to man up and play Resident Evil 7. Both consoles also have some sort of video capturing feature with the Switch's screenshots and 30 second replays, and then the PS4's bigger version of that. While the Switch's is more simple and responsive, it really doesn't beat the ability to actually record a certain amount of gameplay on the PS4, which is why I have to record my Switch screen but I can actually get good quality gameplay on my PS4, so this one is rather important to me. One thing I do like with both consoles is how you can boot them up and instantly start playing. You can leave games open and then instantly start where you left off. I'm not sure how many games have this, but I did notice that in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I couldn't actually leave the game open. One thing the PS4 has that I really wish the Switch has is trophies. Now, I'm not a trophy hunter or anything, usually I'll only go for a platinum if it requires no multiplayer and not more than one playthrough, unless it's a really short and really fun game. So far I've only got the platinum for Horizon Zero Dawn, but I would have loved getting one for Breath of the Wild. And finally, as one last point to the Switch, the addition of hours played is another great thing. Sure, sometimes it's a little disappointing to see how much of my life I've spent gaming, but it's also very interesting. While the majority of PS4 games show how many hours you have in-game, it's nice to have an overall view. So going by actual points that I gave out, even though I was rather inconsistent, the PlayStation 4 would be my personal favorite of the two consoles. Now I do actually agree with this, but it's a tight race. While the PS4 doesn't really have anything I really hate, like the Joy-Cons, it also doesn't have anything super amazing, like handheld mode for the Switch. And who knows, maybe I just haven't had enough time with my PS4 to pick out the things I don't like. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I really do hope you enjoyed. See you guys in another video.